Today we're in the heart of Washington, D.C. It's not always about politics here. Right now, we're listening to Arabic music. Let's go and follow the sound of music and see where it will lead us. Okay, what's happening right now? What, why all these crowd are here? That's a very good question. I, to give you a quick rundown, we're the Bearded Bakers from Sydney, Australia, and we're here to showcase the Palestinian culture, hopefully in a way that's never been done before, through our food, our music, our hospitality, and personality. So thank you so much for having us, DC. It's been amazing. Amir and his family have been in the restaurant business for more than 20 years. He also has a background in architecture and came up with the idea of transforming shipping containers into bakeries. That led to launching Kanaf in Sydney, Australia three years ago and now in New York too and in Washington for a short while. Kanaf is in DC, we're here baby. Life is on fire, look at the crowd. Crazy, I lost my voice. Nothing but love, love, love. Baby, yeah. These bearded bakers don't just bake, they bake with passion and they love to dance. I get to dance with people. What do you expect? It's, it's a good time. Everyone loves it. Right, we love you. If the food does not lure some people, the dancing does. People stop by to get a taste of Middle Eastern culture. I really like the atmosphere here. It's awesome. It's fun and welcoming, and I can't wait to try this. This is a beautiful experience. I'm really happy to be here. The pop-up event was hosted by Cotton and Reed, the only rum distillery in D.C., which just celebrated its first anniversary. I lived in Jordan for a while. <laughs> and so, she lived in Jordan. Yeah, yeah. So, I can see from your computer. Yeah, so I got this while I was there. Um, and I've, I've missed the culture so much. I miss the language, I miss the people, and this the, the hospitable atmosphere that is just so prevalent over in the Middle East. And I, it's been exactly like that. It's been, like it's been transplanted right outside our door, basically. This weekend was our best weekend for all three businesses. Yesterday was our busiest day ever. Yeah, we shattered uh, the Kenefe guys. Um, they said that it was their busiest day ever, and ZNZ had the highest profits ever yesterday. Yeah. So it's been a really great small business collaboration, too. DC's local Middle Eastern pizza makers, ZNZ, also joined the party. And I'm so happy that we get to introduce our product to so many people that are missing it. A lot of people craving the za'atar, and now they get to have it on the old-fashioned cooking method, the sage. We're trying to change the image of you know, what traditional media sees of Arabs, and I think we're doing a great job of portraying a positive image of Arabs. Chris Hassan Frankie, founder of the first Middle Eastern cocktail bar in the area, also participated. You know, all my drinks are inspired by the Middle East in one way or the other. Either they have a Middle Eastern ingredient or flavor, or it's uh, the idea for the drink comes after a Middle Eastern song, or even like a Middle Eastern joke. Um, so there's always some element of the Middle East, like with the Arab world or like the greater Middle East, in the drinks. It seems this event to highlight Middle East culture was quite a hit here in Washington. Sama Dezei, for VOA News, Washington.